mine have on my personal Facebook page. How many of you have had people from high school find you or college? They found you on your Facebook page. You haven't talked to them in years, but they're putting feeds out there every day. You already start, even though you may never talk to them again, are you starting to feel a connection with them? Yeah. You start to kind Absolutely. of know. You start That's to know for 25 years and you're like, but, but then you're learning a lot about their lives. You're learning about what they're doing. So you're automatically reconnecting with those people. Now, translate that into your business. Imagine if you can have posts or you can have information and content out there that's so interesting that people who may not even know you or haven't even called you yet, is so interesting that they already feel a connection to you. And studies show if they already feel a connection to you, when they actually come and visit you, what are they more likely to do? They're more likely to turn into your customers. So that's the thing. I know it sounds overwhelming, but we'll talk about some strategies on how to do that. Um, one of the things that, and a lot of you already said you have, if you don't have a Facebook page or any other social media outlet that you're trying to use, try to create a personal account first. You just need an email address, your company logo. Company info, like your address, hours of operations, services, overview, mission statement, photos, and a list of upcoming events and specials. With that, you can actually start your Facebook page. Because a lot of people like Twitter, I always throw Twitter in there. If you, if you already have a Facebook page and you want to try Twitter or you haven't tried it yet, all you need is the email address and the logo. We're not going to go age here. But some of the different aspects of timeline, we'll talk about this. You can see now you have a big banner. Here's one for BoeingJobsCharleston.com. They have a big banner, and they actually they've actually highlighted "click like" right here, so that when someone visits their landing page, they make it very obvious how to click like. So there's no doubt about how to do that. Um, and then the logo or the company picture, the picture that you'd normally see on the profile, that moves to right here. So you've got a big banner, and then then you've got that um, that little logo right there. So you can really do a lot with this banner now. That being said, um, it depends on your level of graphic design expertise. Some people will just put a picture there for their business. Other people will design something fancy, and other people will hire someone like me to design something for them because they maybe. But they don't necessarily consider well, you know, that might be great for your company. But what is really important to your consumers? That's what you have to focus on when you do this. What is important to your consumers? And one of the things, as we talk through some of these different, different strategies, one of the things that I always suggest to people is you treat your social media Facebook page as you would an advertising plan for your business. In other words, you plan out what you're going to, with the type of post you're going to post at least a month ahead of time. That's, what, that's a practice that, that, that I always recommend because then when next month comes, you've got a calendar of what you're going to post, what type of topics. You don't have to have it all like, you know, written out, but you'll know what you're going to show you. Now, they, they have some very similar features, but what we're going to do is we're going to build a page and show you how to build a page for your business. And where it's different is that in, in, on the business page, there are people that will actually like you as a business. Okay, and the posts look a little bit different, the news fees look a little bit different, and we're get, again, we're going to talk a little bit about how to, how to implement a business page tonight, and, and you'll see a little bit how it's different from the personal. Yes, ma'am. On well, the personal page. All right, so the next thing is you want to include a link to your page in your e-newsletter and even your email signature. Okay, so in your e-newsletter, those of you who are using e newsletters, you want to put a link in there. And when you have an e-mail signature, it says, you know, Gina Smith, Custom Communications, put a link to your Facebook page on there as well. Okay? If you have a personal page and you build a business page, a lot of you here have personal pages, but you don't have, have business pages. On your personal page, when you build your business page, there will be an area that you will actually have the option to let your friends, okay, from your personal page know that you have a business page now. And you can encourage them to like your page and also encourage them to encourage their friends to like your page. So if you have a Facebook page and you've got 75 friends, if you can encourage all 75 of your friends or a good portion of them to like your, and you just have to do it once, I mean, you know, the feed will go out to everyone, to like your page and encourage them to like, to like, to like each person, then, then, then that's how things start to grow.
And then encourage your fans or your people that like you. Encourage them to talk about your products and services. Hey, if you if you if you liked our if you liked the special we had last night at you know if you're if you're a restaurant. Hey, if you liked our special last night, let us know and tell your friends. Encourage them to do that. Most likely, if they liked it or disliked it, they've already done that. But encourage them to talk about your product. Okay, another thing that I've seen that was very interesting. I had someone pressure wash my house, and the person that pressure washed my house actually sent me something afterwards and said. Hey, we're going to actually start from the beginning, and we're going to build a business Facebook page. Now, I'm going to also do this little disclaimer. This is one problem we had last week when we were doing this. <clears throat> one of the things you'll see as we build this page, Facebook does require you to actually um, get they'll, they'll send an email to ensure that you are who you are, and then you have to actually confirm all that information. Well, sometimes they send it very quickly. I didn't get the email from last week's presentation until the next day because it was at night time when traffic was, was high. So, just to let you know, we're hoping that everything will work fine. If not, then we're actually going to build one off the Selma's page, but we'll show you at least how to, to go in there and get started. Now, keep in mind, when we look at this, did you lose Wi-Fi? We'll be highlighted um, in your posts as well. well if you we have could, it we can put just the title and link it to our website. And, um, so anyway, so when we talk about timeline, that's just really the name. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's six forty. Okay. So um, just to give you a gauge. Okay. So and when it's working, it gives you pretty good instruction, which is kind of cool. Um, next thing it's going to say is please provide some basic information. So she's going to say we help people improve their golf game. In this section, you would want to put anything you want about your company, your mission statement. Um, you know, maybe even a call to action. I'll just this is really going to be your about company information, and we're just putting something on there a little bit. Add another site. Um, she's going to put if you have a website, you would add this.